Well, this is a last resort device to survivor of people in high-rise uh, office or apartment buildings. For example, there were some 200 people that jumped out of the World Trade Center that because firemen couldn't get to them and there's no way out. Had they had the parachute, they would have had an opportunity to survive. because I think most of them sell not only survivalism, but they sell an ideology that safe for America is not part of that cloth. One or two more questions. Anything else? Do you view that as something that somebody who's driving in the winter could have in its trunk to the flashlight when the power is out? We strongly believe that the products that you see before you today on our shelves will be as common to the a household as a medicine cabinet, as a smoke detector, a carbon monoxide detector. We feel that this is necessary. We don't feel it's overkill. We will do it in the most expeditious and friendliest manner we can to the general public as well as the professional audiences in law enforcement and corporate America. As which help facilitate breathing in any of those uh, acids or chemicals that may be available. Like I said, this is above and beyond the recommended uh, level. Well, I'm not too crazy about it, because I'm not ready for another attack, mentally. You might be going a little bit too far in terms of the, uh, the military gear and the gas masks and the but you never know. Where are we headed to in this world? And maybe that's where we're going, right? <laughs> okay, I think it's a great idea. I mean, they brought it here downtown where I think they need it the most. And, you know, they need to liven up this area here. And, and it's sad that you have to open up a store like this, but it's part of society today. In the world of today, you have to live with it here and all over the world. I just think there isn't enough of them around.